There's miles of land in front of us. Southeast Asian Sumatran Elephant, created by Ashley Lee. The Sumatran Elephant is a large herbivore with 5 to 9 foot tall, up to 5 tons in weight, and up to 20 foot long. They inhabit the Sumatran Island, which is located within Southeast Asia, and dwell in rich tropical rainforests, which are shared among other endangered and critically endangered species. These include the Sumatran Tiger, the Sumatran Rhino, and the Sumatran Orangutan. According to Watch J 2012, Sumatran Elephant upgraded to critically endangered status, in 2012, the Sumatran elephant was upgraded from an endangered species to a critically endangered species, which is caused by many factors including environmental impact, human-elephant conflict, and controversy. Although despite the impacts reducing the population of the species, there are many organisations that are treating the issue for brighter futures of the critically endangered species of Sumatra. Deforestation is a major influence to the reduction of both habitat loss in Sumatra and the population of the Sumatran elephants as well as other species due primarily to logging, farming and infrastructure. In order for humans to create products of both personal and economic use at the markets, they require products such as paper, palm oil and palm plantations, which of course required logging to occur. J. Wickens, 2013. So much an elephant suffer in the palm oil gold rush. According to Biological Conservation 2005, page 37, during the decade of 1980s, there were evidently 12 herds of the Sumatran elephant. However, in 2002, consequently, there were only two herds remaining in the habitat. Figure 1. Studies of 2002 show the location of the Sumatran elephants on Sumatran Island. It conveys that elephants are now only found among areas that are either a national park or protected forest, therefore implying the degree of threat they are under. Biological Conservation, 2005, page 37. It is well known of how much damage us humans have created, for example destroying the environment, such as pollution, however many fail to realise how significant their choices impact many animals. The Sumatran elephant is one of millions of animals affected by humans, which is evident through the act of poaching, rapid development and deforestation. Poaching occurs to males, young or old, where humans cut off the tusks in order to collect ivory, which is illegally put on the market. These innocent elephants experience animal cruelty. These procedures are completed without any anaesthetics and they are forced to die in agonising pain and starvation. However, due to poaching, there is a large reduction of male elephants throughout the habitats, which consequently disrupts and restricts the breeding ratio and rank. The Translock program therefore had an unfortunate effect of converting many areas of elephant habitat into agricultural land, and this led to a major increase in levels of human-elephant conflict. Biological Conservation, 2005, page 36. The Translock program is where trans migrants were to settle in north of Lampung province, which is where the Sumatran elephant dominantly are. This led further to a human elephant conflict because the settlers were not happy with the elephant's presence in their villages and disrupting their agriculture. Due to crops being destroyed, they were referred to as a problem animal and pests. Figure 2. The decline of the Sumatran elephant compares the abundance of natural habitat and the abundance of the Sumatran elephant from 1985 and 2008. It is clear that there has been a large downfall with both population forms over time due to many different issues such as deforestation, habitat loss, poaching and natural causes, which therefore consequently there is a reduction of diversity. Due to the Harapun forest of Sumatra being an important habitat that the critically endangered Sumatran elephants inhabit, there becomes a lot of controversy when it comes to humans developing in specific areas as it can impact the herds, their breeding and possibly increase competition. Recently there has been a controversy over a plan to build a 51 km road which would cut between the Harapun forest, Indonesia, so that 850 truckloads of coal a day can be exported more easily to power stations. This is according to Jay Vital 2013, The Guardian. Due to this forest being enriched with wildlife, including more than 300 avian species, the Sumatran elephant, the Sumatran tiger, Sumatran rhino and the orangutan, there is a controversy as the road will split the forest into separate areas and this could possibly cause illegal loggers to enter as well as hunters. This would also disrupt the wildlife due to their movement being restricted and increasing competition as well as possible greater predation. This could potentially cause an increased 
rate of extinction of some of the native wildlife, such as the Sumatran elephant, tiger and rhino, as all three are listed currently as critically endangered species, therefore they are of greater threat of the community wiping out. It is extremely difficult for the treatment of the issue as the Sumatran elephant population are almost at the peak of extinction. However, there are always options to consider creating a more sustainable population and environment for them to thrive in. This was recognised in 1989 when the government decided that the relocation of elephants was necessary, where a majority of them were tamed and housed in. Within the institute were elephant training centres, where they were used as a party of natural conservation projects and ecotourism companies. To assist the wildlife, especially those that are critically endangered, it is essential that there are areas that are protected with minimal risk posed for the human population. Within these areas, conservationists do their best to minimise danger, therefore there is a reduced amount of fragmentation, habitat loss and degradation due to logging, poaching, skinning, etc. being illegal within the area protected or